So the supplies you're going to need to make this camera strap are you're going to need some webbing and I had already opened mine so I have nylon webbing here you can use cotton or um, whatever you choose and I'm using three-fourths of an inch which I kind of felt like once I got it here and I looked at it, it seems a little wide. It's not going to fit right in the little um, places in my camera to put it. But what I'm going to do is take some key rings that I can get into that um, those little things on the side of my camera and use those and, and put this on that once I've got it done. But um, I would suggest that if you're going to be ordering the stuff to do this from uh, Country Brook Designs, they do have the half inch. I would get the half inch um, webbing. And I also have some triglides here. And if you order a different size of the webbing that I'm using, then you definitely, the triglides have to be the same width or it's not going to work. So here I have three fourths of an inch triglides and I only need two out of this. So what I've done is cut two pieces of fabric for the actual strap. And this is just some that I have so much of that I used it. I wanted to line the back of this with black but I didn't have black. So I have cut this about 40 inches and that's going to be plenty for just a regular camera strap. And they're 40 inches long by four and a half inches wide. And then I have four pieces of this faux leather here or this vinyl that you can get at the craft store, craft store, the fabric store, and I have cut it um, four inches by about three inches. So this is going to be the little end pieces that's going to hold the webbing and it's going to just kind of tie it all together really neat. So the first thing we need to do is we need to press these strap pieces. I'm going to fold over and press about Um, about three-fourths of an inch and you'll do that with both pieces Okay, so now you see that's what I've done is I've pressed over on each side of both pieces of this. And now I want to lay them. Now you see what I, I've done is I've just pinned it and I'm going to sew all along each side. I'm just going to sew all the way down and that is to attach it. And I know I'll probably get asked this question about interfacing, but I just don't want interfacing on this. It, it could strengthen it a little bit, but it could also make it kind of irritating on the neck or the wrist. Um, and as far as what I do with my camera, and it's one thing that I actually learned in, that, in my short time in that photography class was it's not really a good idea to wear your camera around your neck. If you're, you have one of those little cheapo point and shoot and that's how you want to do it, that's fine. But ideally, um, a photographer who carries around a DSLR or an SLR camera will take the strap and wrap it around their wrist and hold it like that. So that's just what I'm looking for and I just wanted it to be pretty so I'm making my own. So you can see here I've got the pieces sewn together and now I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. And what I want to do is cut 15 inches for the webbing. I'm just kind of guesstimating, you know, because you're going to loop it in and you need some extra, some give, but you don't want too much. So I'm just going to go with 15 because that seems like a good number. And this webbing is a little thick. I, I didn't know what I was doing when I ordered it, but that is completely my fault. It's not the kind. It's actually really good quality, but it might be a little overpowering for my um, camera strap. But we'll just see. Um, 
you want to burn one end with a lighter just one end because the other end's going inside there and since this is kind of thick I'm not I don't want to sew it I already burned this one last night because I was experimenting so now I'm just going to burn one end on this other piece so you see these ends have been melted and these ends have not okay so <laughs> This is the first time I'm making this camera strap, and I, I will edit out what I just did, but I thought of another way right before I started sewing this vinyl, so I'm glad I did. But um, what we want to do first, I guess, is take the end that you did not burn with your lighter of the webbing, and you want to lay it inside, in, hopefully in the center, and I'm doing about... about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters inside there and we're going to stitch it in a the little box shape okay so now you see we have these two pieces and we have these extra pieces that we've, um, we're going to use to create the, that part of the camera strap. Can't get my thoughts together today. Okay, now what we want to do, and it's, this part can be a little bit tricky because you can't really do any pinning in this vinyl, but we're going to make it work. So we want to place the, the strap, and I'm doing it probably about about an inch and a half. You don't want to be too greedy with the, your camera strap. You want to get it down in there. And I'm just kind of making this part the the back side. Or no, I want to do this the front because I did already attach that and it might get a little messy looking and it just kind of disguise it just in case. So yeah, I'm going to put the front on this side because we're still going to have to sew around um, the webbing piece here. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take this to my machine and just stitch across here to attach this so that the camera strap doesn't move. You want to make sure it's in there straight. Okay, so now you see you've got that attached. You've got the strap attached to the vinyl piece. Now what we want to do is we're going to take it to the machine and we're going to gradually sew down until we meet right at the edges of the webbing. So you see, I've got my camera strap all complete. Now I've already cut this, um, trimmed this one. I'm going to go ahead and trim this one just, you know, so it's in real time and you guys can see. You can do a double line here if it makes you feel better. I, I kind of feel like I, I wish I had, but you know, it, it looks okay the way it is and it's going to hold up pretty well. Just be sure that you are using a... Um, heavy duty needle when you make do this project because your your needle your machine will get a little fussy if you don't have the right equipment on it so I actually had to stop and put in my heavy duty needle and I also would say that for this part and um, when you do the first side um, you could just attach it at the bottom and then that way you've got a pretty X on both sides see I had to go over mine twice and it looked kind of sloppy but this sucker's pretty sturdy unless you're gonna be flinging your camera around like it's a lasso you're probably not gonna have a problem so then what you're going to do is get your tri-glides out and the final step would be to just attach it to your camera which I'm not going to do at this moment but you might see that in the thumbnail. Um, definitely go to Country Brook Designs. There will be a link in the description box down below and get your... Uh, 
webbing and, and your tri-glides and my suggestion for a camera strap though is to go with the half inch not the three-fourths totally my fault not the company's I, I like to say that because I don't want it to be like well why did they send you that well this is what I asked for so it's my fault so I hope you guys enjoyed this little camera strap tutorial and um, be sure to like share and subscribe if you enjoyed it peace y'all bye bye